In this game, we'll see the Los Angeles Clippers against the Chicago Bulls. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Clippers. On Monday, they'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. Then on Wednesday, it'll be the Sacramento Kings coming into town. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. In the backcourt, it's Ball and Levine. Williams is out there with Vucevic, and it's DeRozan in at the three. And for Los Angeles, outside the wings are George and Leonard. Post tandem for him, Morris and Zubac. And it's Jackson in at the point. Lots of speed and athleticism on the floor tonight. Brent, what do you think could determine the outcome? Well, if you're going to play that fast, you're going to have to make decisions that don't catch up with the speed. And that means making the right quick decisions and not rushing things. If these teams get ahead of themselves, the first ones to do that, they might find themselves in a hole. The shot, no good. Excellent D there from Williams. Here's Ball. And the layup is good. Lonzo Ball. It was so hard to knock Lonzo Ball off his center of gravity. That time, a good job of keeping his composure around the challenge. Now here's Leonard. To the paint. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Now here's Ball. Now the pass to DeRozan. Shoots over Zubac. Another shot. Vucevic uses the glass to finish the layup. And how about the hustle from Vucevic there on the glass, securing that precious second chance opportunity for the team. It's stolen by Vucevic. And here we go with DeRozan running it up the middle. It's hauled in by George. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Yeah, early on, three misses to open the game. Their offense right now still trying to find its way. Now when Lonzo Ball entered the league in 2017, Greg, there were major questions about his shooting. And he struggled, of course, during his rookie year. Yeah, and, and shooting 30% from deep and under 50% at the line. But credit to Lonzo. He's put major work into his stroke, getting that free throw percentage to over 75% during his fourth year in the league. And his three-point numbers, they've also improved greatly. For Chicago, they've gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with head coach Teron Liu. Dave, what do you have to say? Well, Kevin, he gave me some broad strokes regarding the game plan. He said we want to work the ball into the paint, high percentage looks, and then get to the foul line if we can. We'll see how they try to accomplish that throughout the game. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. Now here's Leonard. Zach Levine unable to get his last shot to go. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. No good. That's miss number two. He's one for three. Clippers trailed by seven. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. It's stolen by Vucevic. Here's Ball. Feeds to Vucevic. It's good. They got to do more than that to stop Vucevic. So adept at fending off those types of challenges. And the Clippers timeout, timeout. decide to take their first time out here. There's an element to Nikola Vucevic's game that fits well with most of the league's modern offensive schemes. And with his inside-out game, he's a guy that can stretch the floor. And Kevin, when you look at today's NBA, nothing is more important than spacing and passing. And when Vucevic is on the court, you can be sure the spacing will be excellent. And the Clippers going with a whole new group out there. Here's Bledsoe, and he banks in the lane. Look, it's nice to be a tough, small guy in this league. If you're built like Eric Bledsoe, the contact, no effect. Here's Caruso. 
to the middle. It's stolen by Ibaka. One so taking his time here. There's 117 left in the first quarter of the game. Passes to Mann. Bounce pass from Ibaka. Pass to Bledsoe. Three to shoot. Buries the long-range jumper. Bledsoe's got five. And Kennard, well-schooled, just keeping his eyes up and making that play. Caruso, the pass to Brent. Here's Caruso. Guarded by Bledsoe. Caruso, no good. Bloodso outside. Batum against Jones. Puts it up from 17, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Yeah, there's really no defense for that one. Turnaround jumper on time, on target. Shot and game clock separated by five. Round against Tabaka. And the rejection by Ibaka. Well, this will always be a part of Serge's game. Rim protection on the inside. That's nasty. Bledsoe passes to Batum. And the jam by Nicholas Batum. And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. Well, that's how you drive your point home right there. It's all tied here in Los Angeles. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen so far from the Clippers, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, going to the bench early, they obviously knew what they were doing. Yeah, looking for a spark here, and the coach tapped the right guys to get out there and provide it. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. So the Bulls five right now. Derek Jones is out there with Brown. Then there's Bradley. Then it's White. And it's Caruso in at the one. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. This is his first chance at the line tonight. The line for two. First free throw is good. And Brent the Wrinkle added to the playoff format for 2021. The play-in tournament really became a hot-button issue last season. Yeah, it felt like you either were going to love it or you weren't going to like it at all. And I think a lot of people really enjoyed the fact that the last month of the season provided games that had something at stake. And that positioning to get into the 10th slot with an opportunity to get into the playoffs drew the attention of, of NBA fans and players uh, to keep competing until the very end of the season to take that shot at getting into the postseason. So I really like it. Here's the floater. And there's the play by Bledsoe inside. Bledsoe's got seven points in the game. How about the soft touch of Bledsoe that time? Awesome job of arcing the ball, the floater high up into the air to get two. Here's Bradley. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Bradley's got his first basket of the night. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Well, mid-range jumpers are something of a lost art these days. But they're still practiced by superstars like Kawhi Leonard. Coach Ty Lu said, why not work on the shots that teams are giving up? Down the stretch, mid-range shots win games. Playoffs, too. If you shoot it at a high clip, it's just as good as a three for me. Guys? And they do shoot it at a good clip, and they rely on it quite a bit. David, thank you. And now the first timeout called here for the Bulls. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. 
And the Clippers with a whole new lineup now. And while we have a moment, let's check the stats for DeRozan. Coming off a terrific season, put up about 21 points a game, seven assists and four rebounds. And he's also a bit of a stopper defensively. They put him in, and their defense really tightens up. This is his specialty. He sits on the bench, he gauges what's happening offensively, and he comes in and sticks the opponent's top scorer to freeze him out. Williams trying to break free. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. on the clock on its way from DeRozan for two and making the suffocating defensive play right there Leonard an overwhelming force on that end of the floor and, and we all know what George brings offensively but it's his ability as a defender that stands out great instincts to make plays on that end of the floor there's Levine that one doesn't drop excellent D there from George Outside Jackson. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes foul gone by. Chicago. And foul Patrick on the Williams. shot, so he'll get a chance That's at the line. First personal foul. First and how about fouls. the confidence right now from it's Jackson? Not bashful purpose. at attacking Great and drawing attention the from there. Two shots. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Clippers. Really some great drives to the basket here early on for these guys. Another part of the game tonight where they've been effective is to get points in the paint. And, and Reggie Jackson, the former 24th pick by the Thunder, wasn't content to back up Westbrook. He basically forced his way out in search of a larger role. And so Jackson nails both of them. And with Paul George and his defense, Greg, you almost forget how great of an impact it makes. He just kind of flies under the radar with his defensive play. I mean, this guy could be considered for the defensive player of the year almost every year. One of the more disruptive forces on that end of the floor. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Jackson against Ball, and the call Lonzo will be Ball. against Lonzo Ball. That's his first that is foul. his first foul of the game. Second team foul. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Such a wide open look. George has got the lead up to five now for Los Angeles. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Levine against George. They get it again. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first Marcus Morris picks one up there. Second team foul. And one of the strengths of Levine's game, that ability to lure the D into fouls. Get into the wrong position, and he'll make you pay. First free throw is good. And, Kevin, you tend to forget this about Levine. I mean, he's still so young. You feel like he's been in the league forever. And so Levine nails both of them. You know, Greg, I was just thinking about Zach Levine and his age. He's just now in his mid to late 20s. And he's grown so much since that rookie year. Excited to see what numbers he can put up as he gets ready to enter into his prime. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Levine against George. Good on that shot, and with Zach that, the Levine. Los Angeles lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Levine. 
And over the years, Levine has put on the muscle, which helps him on those challenging finishes at the rim. Jackson passes to Leonard. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. A much better quarter for them shooting the ball. Outside ball. Leonard against DeRozan. Shoots over Leonard. And slam dunk by Vucevic. And using every bit of that large frame for the exclamation point. Vucevic, a force around the rim. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. A different look for the Clippers. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Zubac. And it's Batum in for Marcus Morris. And the Bulls making a change here as well. White's checked in. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And it's Vucevic missing. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Ibaka misses to George. Trying to get open is Ibaka. And it's White with the rebound. He takes it in. Well, Paul George showing off his defensive prowess right there. Full energy, full focus, and a nice contest. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Clippers lead by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Coach, a slow start for this team. What has to change as you work your way back? Well, we didn't shoot the ball particularly well in the first quarter at all. Thank God we got to the free throw line some, which helped. But uh, I think we could do a better job defensively. I thought we gave them too many baskets uh, in around the rim. So we've got... Today for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Pretty close game for the Clippers throughout the first quarter. The period wrapped up with the teams on level ground and the score tied. They were slightly better in the second. Not a big difference between these two teams. And taking a look at the Clippers, Kenny, what did you see out there? The bench scoring has been a big key for them. They came in with energy and they were able to give the starters a real break because of the way they perform. That's the kind of production every team hopes to have from their second year. And Shaq, what'd you think about Chicago? Well, those second chance points are huge, and they only came because of their effort. Their work on the offensive glass is what's keeping them in the game. They definitely sh It's been key so far. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Eric Bledsoe really making a difference here. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. The guard spots filled by Jackson and George. Leonard and Morris are up in the forward positions. And it's Zubats in at the five spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Lots of throwback stuff to Kawhi's game as he's just feasting now in the mid-range. Bulls trail by three. Ball finds Levine. Over George. Levine, that's good. Levine. Levine's got 11. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Pass to Leonard. Jackson with it from past the arc. And another three for the Clippers. You think about the growth of Kawhi Leonard's game, where in the first few seasons had very few assists as a playmaker, and now it's a, it's a key part of his game. Here's DeRozan. Yes, foul. and the foul. 
Kawhi. It's on Kawhi Leonard. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain it. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And 88 from the line a season ago. He was one of the best shooters in the league. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Mann's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. Luke Kennard What's comes up? in for George. Eric Bledsoe is subbed in for Jackson. Chicago also making some changes. Bradley's checked in for Vucevic. Derek Jones comes in for Williams. And it's Alex Caruso in for Lonzo Ball. And guys, DeMar DeRozan has really come into his own on the court. It's been great to see him realize that potential and become the player a lot of guys knew he could be. Back to Zubac. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Now we know Zubac can eat up space inside, Brent. Great job of securing rebounds. Yeah, obviously, if he was playing starter minutes or anywhere approaching 30 minutes, Zubats is going to be in double figures, ripping down both offensive and defensive things on the glass. What's impressed me about him, though, is he's got great hands on the inside and has now become a very viable roll target. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, the league remains in love with three-pointers, but DeMar DeRozan remains true to his game. He says, if I see 100 people walking left, that doesn't mean I'm going to do the same. I see this clear path and want to stay right. Shooting threes, I feel like I'm settling. Whereas I think anytime I drive, I'm going to score or get fouled. Kevin, different strokes or different folks. Yeah, but DA, I love that strategy. Thanks for that story. And we've witnessed DeRozan improve big time as a playmaker. His court awareness is really at an elite level. And the Clippers call time here. Whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for the Clippers. Batum comes in for Marcus Morris. Chicago also making some changes. Vucevic checked in for Bradley. Brown comes in for Jones. And it's Kobe White in for Levine. Outside Batum. Four on the shot clock. From 17 feet out, and it comes off the front of the rim. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. DeRozan, the shot's good. Brown making the play. He's got it all tied up now for Chicago. And it's just so hard to stop DeRozan from making his way inside and generating points. Here's Bledsoe. Vucevic with the block, and he's able to get it back. Ibaka finds Kinnar. Bledsoe outside. And it's out of bounds. Out of they say it was last LA touched ball. by Vucevic. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. And the Clippers making a change here. Leonard's checked in. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for the Bulls. A minute 20 left to play here in the third. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. Jackson, he's checked in for Eric Bledsoe. And a change for the Bulls. Lonzo Ball, he's checked in for Alex Caruso. Here's White. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. L.A. has gone three or four from long range in the game. Leonard with the ball. Now guarded by Ball. And DeRozan kicks to White. Back to DeRozan for the lead. And the layup DeMar is up and in. DeRozan. Seven the points for DeMar DeRozan. Kobe White. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Bulls. 
Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals oh, we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Well, you add to that their block totals tonight. They've been very feisty and active on the defensive end. George has checked in for the Clippers. There's 45 seconds left to play in the third. Leonard inside. Vucevic on him. And it's almost as if they knew exactly what the D was going to throw at him on that possession. Ball, the pass to DeRozan. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Leonard. Here's George. And it's in there. George has got seven points. And there's the strength of Paul George just powering through and takes on the contact. Here's Paul driving inside. Nicholas Batum. That's his first person. The Bulls have not yet missed a free throw. Five five. for five. Yeah, and 79% from the line ball. as a team a Runs season a ago. Pretty Two reliable shots. in that regard. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. I think Lonzo is doing a, a better job at this stage of taking his game just a lot more serious than when he came into the league. Ball hits them both. Nine seconds left here in the third quarter. George with the ball. Let's it go with a three. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. That's the end of the third, and it's all tied up. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. And a moment ago, inside the huddle with Coach Teron Liu. Hey, we got to get more physical down to our end, man. We got to get some stuff. If we don't get stuff, it's going to be a long night for us. Well, GA focusing on the physicality of the game. He clearly wants more aggressiveness. And understandable, setting the tone on defense critical if you want to get this win. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. Brighton Levine on the wing. Vucevic is out there with Williams, and it's Ball in at the point. White inside, defended by George, and it's White missing. And so George will bring it up for the Clippers. Here's Batum. That one drops for him. Batum's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Clippers. Chicago trailing here. Here's Ball. And no good that time. Great D that time. Leonard looking over the floor. Rebound by the Bulls. Vucevic has got his sixth rebound on the night. Outside, ball. It's White on the wing. Shot clock at five. Good! Kobe White's got the game tied up here for the Bulls. The IQ of White reading those pick and rolls and just taking what the D gives him. The pass to Leonard. Leonard draws the double. The 11-footer, and Jackson with the basket on the assist by Leonard. Seven points for Reggie Jackson. He uses the threat of his drive to open up looks time out, time for him out. offensively. Jackson is one smart cookie. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Big Ben, who wants a free t 
Baker. Mezzanor. Marcus Morris has checked in for Nicholas Batum. And Chicago also making a switch. Caruso's checked in. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Billy Donovan's huddle with his team. He said, we're too concerned with their shooters right now. We've got to close off the inside. They are gutting us. He pleaded with his guys. Come on, let's take a stand. Kevin? Leonard draws the double. There's Jackson with the three. That shot off the mark. And the Bulls going the other way now. And then Levine with the jam. And there's a reason Levine was a back-to-back -back champ at the slam dunk contest. He doesn't waste an opportunity to put on a show. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Leonard finds George. This is it to a buck. Poked away. It's stolen by Vucevic. Ball against Jackson. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Levine looking around. There's the drive. And that won't go. Missing the go-ahead bucket. Inside. It's stolen by Vucevic. Levine with it. George picks him up. Now here's Levine. He's coming closely. Beautiful. Levine getting more comfortable as a go-to guy wanting the shot when it matters most. Los Angeles calls timeout. They trail by two. There's 138 left in the game. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Nikola Vucevic. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch from the field, flawless. The, the teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions. And boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. And he's going up for the alley-oop. It's stolen by Vucevic. And here we go. Fast break. Levine's got it. DeRozan's shot is good. DeRozan. And the Bulls lead by four. And this is why you go to DeRozan. When they need a bucket, he's a guy that can go out and get it. Here's George. Two points. That one goes. Well, your best player is going to take on the burden come clutch time. And Paul George carrying the weight right now. Outside, Levine. It's good. That is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Simply put, out of control is how they played thus far. They're going to have to reel it in and show some more discipline. That's why you turn to Paul George. These moments are for PG. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possessions. Levine's shot is off. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Man, I'll tell you what. The pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're trailing by one. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Yeah, you know, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. It's in! Big basket there. We've seen Levine blossom into a star in this league. A guy teams count on in big moments. And the Clippers call time here. They're behind by one. There's 14 seconds left to play here in the fourth. What's your take, guys? You know, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. George looking around. Three-pointer. Found it! Oh, just deadly from outside. 
PG getting some space does not hesitate there. Chicago calls timeout. They're trailing by two. One second left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? And with under two seconds remaining, they need something quick. Don't have time for an extra pass here, but if they want to try for a three off the inbound play and go for the win, definitely do it. So it's the Clippers taking the win in a close one. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kawhi. The defense, of course, keyed in on slowing you down tonight, but your teammates stepped up. How important is that for you? Uh, it feels great, you know. Uh, that's what a championship team is about. You know, when your star is not going or they double teaming you, then you got other guys knocking out big shots like they did tonight. The others came correct, man, and you got the dub. Congrats. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. So long and good night, everyone.